All right, so what we got going on today is I've got some 305 watt panels for sale. So I wanna compare those because they're used to some brand new 400 watt panels that I've got sitting here. So bright sunny day, it's about 12.30 in the afternoon here in North Texas, and we're in mid-July. Um, I've got my 400 watt panels been sitting out in the sun, and I have one panel connected to my charge controller here, and it is bulk charging a pair of six volt golf cart batteries and we are getting 295 watts. You can see that we are at 13.3 volts on the battery, so it is not into float charge yet, because that would be 13 and a half, so it'll get up to that 14.6. So we are definitely bulk charging, and we are at 300 watts out of the 400. So if we calculate that out, let's see what the percentage is. If we have 300 over 400, that's 75%. So let's go ahead and connect the 305 watt panel and see what it's doing. We've got our 400 watt panel right here that I just had connected laying on the ground. And now we've got this 305 that I just plugged in. They're both about the same form factor, 39 by 77, and 39 by 79 for the other. So our 305 watt here is generating. Peaking up to about 220 watts. So let's see if that does any better than the 75% of the brand new panel. So 220 over 305 is 72 percent so it's pretty close to a brand new panel um, this one has been in service for supposedly about a year um, if it's lost a few percentage points in efficiency that makes sense and sitting out in the texas desert so there you have it there's a real world real world test because i can throw a clamp meter on there and it actually showed a little better than this get 8.23 the rated short circuit for this is 8.91. So not a bad reading for that. And we're gonna switch over to DC voltage. All right, so we've got a DC voltage here of 38.17 for open circuit. But that doesn't tell you what the voltage is at a certain amperage. That just gives you the short circuit amperage. So I figure this is a real world test to see if you get these up on your roof or your cabin or your RV, what kind of wattage you can expect in uh, not optimal conditions because it's hot out here. And I think there's some haze out there because I'm getting some, some lower readings than we should for noon 30 um, in mid July. Uh, but it could just be the heat. The heat really uh, takes it out of these panels, any panel, because you lower the efficiency. Anyway, there you have it.